Do you want to hear my Welsh accent? No one would have believed in the last years of the 19th century that human affairs were being watched from the timeless worlds of space. Not stereotypical, but accurate. You're watching A Recipe for Nightmares, exploring the Vincent Price cookbook with your host, John McNee. That's what we're calling it. Some of you are thinking, what, Vincent Price, movie idol, horror icon, he had a cookbook? Yeah, as well as being a major movie star, Vincent Price was also a connoisseur of fine food and art and other things, a bit of a master of all trades, a bit like me. I recently came into ownership of his first cookbook, uh, Treasury of Great Recipes from 1965. So I'm going to cook some of the recipes and I thought I would record myself doing it and put it on YouTube because today's recipe is Welsh rabbit. Now, if you've already been to your butcher and got your freshly prepared rabbit, you can now throw that away because we won't be needing it. The main ingredients to Welsh rabbit are bread, cheese and beer. Why do they call it Welsh Rabbit? I don't know. It's the Welsh. We require bread, butter, cheese, beer, two eggs, cayenne pepper, paprika, dry mustard, Worcester sauce. So the first step is to take four slices of thick bread with the crusts removed, toast them and keep them warm. Still a bit of crust on there. The toast is now under the grill because that's how you make toast. It smells like it's burning, which is how you know it's done rescued in the nick of time. Okay, so you burnt the toast, the toast is burnt, but if you pour enough cheese over it, no one's gonna know. So let's move on and make the main star of the show, the rabbit itself. Here I have a double boiler. If you don't know what that is, we have just a regular pot down here filled with about three inches of boiling water and a bowl. Into this, we're going to be putting about three tablespoons of butter, which doing my mental arithmetic, I think is 50 grams. And it's in. Wooden spoon. I genuinely have no other comment to offer about that. That's, I just, I'm just looking at things that I see in the kitchen and saying what they are. So we're just going to wait for the butter to melt. This is perhaps the easiest step in the recipe. So just enjoy it. Think about your childhood. We're going to be referring to this dish the whole way through as Welsh rabbit because that's what Vincent Price called it. Some of you may call it Welsh rarebit. I have no rabbit in this race. Who the hell is that? We're using Welsh cheese to keep with the theme. This is Gorwith. Carefully, uh, but you can use any uh, cheddar cheese will do just as well. So we're now going to add our carefully, carefully. The beer we're using is Cali American Pale Ale from Newport, which is in Wales, because we're cooking Welsh rabbit. Keep up, people. We want to pour in one cup, which is about 240 mils. Just add a little at a time. A little more. And a little more. Oh! And a little bit more. This is not looking good. Luckily, the Vincent Price cookbook contains no pictures. So this could be exactly what was intended. And we're just going to pretend it is. If there's something I can do in my capacity as a host of a YouTube cookery channel, it's perhaps to demonstrate to people that perfection isn't always what you want. In fact, sometimes what you want to see in a plate is something that reflects us, that reflects humanity, and we're not perfect. Why do we need our food to be? Add two beaten egg yolks. Keep stirring and do not let the rabbit boil or simmer or it will string and get lumpy, which it has already done. So we're really ahead of ourselves here. This is good. Adding the eggs and watching in anticipation of this fixing everything. We want half a teaspoon of paprika. Is that right? 
half a teaspoon of dry mustard dissolved in beer. I can't get this open. In a few grains of cayenne pepper. Wow, okay. Man, does that look about right to you? When the rabbit is warm and smooth-ish, pour it immediately over the toast, which has been in the oven for so long that you forgot it was burnt. And just pour it on. And I think we've damn near achieved exactly what we set out to do. Today's dish will be paired with Beatbox, also from Tiny Rebel, and the Vincent Price film The Raven. Why? Because much like Welsh Rabbit, it is both light and somewhat cheesy. Mm, I like that. Mm. On my soul. Never mind your soul. Don't forget, today's episode of Recipe for Nightmares is sponsored by Prince of Nightmares, the debut horror novel by author John McNee. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and join us again for another Recipe for Nightmares. And if you forget to add the Worcester sauce during the recipe, like you're supposed to, uh, and like I did, just drizzle some on at the end. <laughs>